and and it always comes with the scriptures to back it up. See, if you, I don't care what data you have, doesn't matter. If you don't have, I'm just gonna let Johnny say it all. The word of the Lord God behind your data, it's superfluous. Doesn't mean a thing. All right, so anyway, so I'm going to give you the greatest treasure I can give you. I'm going to give you scriptures tonight. I'm going to give you the manifestation of those scriptures into the real, you know, into this dimension. Like, hey, look, here's how this scripture is manifesting right here in front of your face. Who would have ever thought it? I'm going to show you that. And I'm just going to have a blast tonight. I am so keyed up, guys. I am ready. Uh, I'm ready just to have a good time. And I've been stockpiling this stuff for the last four or five days because I haven't been able to get in front of this computer. Um, but now I have a treasure trove to give you guys. I mean, I'm just going to keep dumping it out as fast as I can. All right, guys, let's pray for John. Okay. Uh, I, I, love, I don't do this a lot, but every now and then something comes across my desk where I just think a corporate prayer would be even for the just spiritual well-being of somebody knowing that we're all praying for the, that person, that lifts your heart. You know what I'm saying? So if you've been laid up for a while and you're starting to be, you know, starting to feel it, starting to feel the isolation, the sadness, uh, the weight, it helps a lot to know that people are praying for you. Um, so I'd like to just, all of us, just look up. Don't bow your heads. What does the church tell you? Bow your heads. Everybody bow your heads and look down. Why? Aren't we supposed to look up? Did you know the word supient? A little quick lesson here. So supient position is hands up. Now watch this. Back in the day, you know, back in the in the, the days of Christ and back during the days before Christ, the days of kings, when rule, when uh, servants would come before a king, they wouldn't just come walking in, <laughs> yo, what's up, dog? No. They would come in with their hands up like this. That's called a supient position, like this. Master, I was wondering, da 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 da, -da whatever, like this. Okay, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication. Let your request be known to God. When you supplicate, you know, when we pray, palms up towards heaven, look up. Isn't it weird all these churches teach you to what? Make a triangle with your arms and rest them on the seat in front of you. And what are you making? You're making like the capstone of the all-seeing eye. And then look down. What's down? The bed. Why would you do that? Remember I showed you in the Catholic Church? Everybody, you know, they make the sign of the cross. They touch their head here. Then they touch their chest here. So you have a line from here to here. And then they go over here and over here. So you just made an upside down cross on your chest. <laughs> it's like, that's probably not real good. <laughs> but hidden in plain sight is the way they do it. Um, cause then no one questions, Whoa, what do we do? Oh, everyone's doing it. Do it. Okay. So let y'all ready to just tear down the enemy's kingdom. Just pull the, just, we're just going to start tearing the veil down and just <laughs> ripping the cover off everything. And I look at like, like, I mean, we're going to rip the cover <laughs> off. Y'all are going to be like, ah, yes, yes. Okay. So now. I need some more coffee. <laughs> Y'all are late. Yeah, I'm going to stay up tonight. Okay. All right. First of all, let's do John. Okay. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, you Father, hear my prayer. Uh, I'd like, to, as a corporate body, just to lift John up in prayer. All of y'all, just pray with me for John. Uh, God, help him, Father, with his isolation. And uh, just... I, I've been there, so I know that when I've been down and out, uh, it would have been nice to know that other people were asking you to intervene on my behalf just to give me a little more hope, you know, and kind of help 
disperse the load, so to speak. I know the word says, uh, bear ye one another's burdens, thus fulfilling the whole law of Christ. So, Lord, as the body of Christ, as believers, you carried the burden for all of us, and you carried it all the way to the cross, not to mention all the years you had to walk around with your own creation that hated you. I just, I can't even imagine that. But, but you know, I just want to pray that John doesn't feel alone or isolated and that he knows there's people that are praying for him right now, watching this video as a corporate unit, lifting him up in prayer before you. And I just pray a blessing over all the people here, everyone that comes here that you'll be filled with joy, you'll be filled with the love of God, you'll be filled with just the happiness that Johnny's got, and the confidence, the confidence in the Lord himself. Guys, I'm going to try and give you this confidence that I have tonight with some scriptures you've never seen. I've been stockpiling them. I have a new folder called Scripture Overflow, and we're going to be looking at some stuff tonight that y'all are just going to be jumping. You're going to be jumping around for joy. Guaranteed. Okay. Well, let's get started. I'm going to go get some more coffee and then, then I'm going to come out here and freak out. All right. So here we go. 10 minutes start. And from here on, it's all business. All right, guys. Hold the phone. All right. So you guys remember this guy, right? You heard him. 